Hello my very most beautiful Capricorns. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your March weekly reading. This reading is going to go from the 14th through the 20th. Now it is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Capricorns, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorns energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on for you. So I know you guys may not be able to see these as I'm laying them out, but no worries. I will hold them up and show them to you as we go over them. I'm just trying to keep space for your person's energy. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. I love that. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. We have in your headspace. Okay, so in your thoughts. Three of Wands in the Reverse and the High Priestess. There's something here that you're keeping to yourself. Is what this feels like to me. There's something here that you're keeping to yourself. Okay. Um, maybe something has come into your awareness. This is kind of what that is feeling like to me. It doesn't really feel like secrets so much as it feels like something has come into your awareness and you're keeping it to yourself for now. So what is that thing um, where people like... I don't want to say they play stupid, but really where they act like they don't know something, but they've already, they peeped it, okay? You know, it's that kind of an energy. I feel like you guys, um, something has come into your awareness with that high priestess, but you're you're holding it in, you're keeping it to yourself, you haven't expressed it yet, okay? The three of wands in the upright can be a card of delegation, sending something out. So in the reverse, sometimes to me, it can be like holding something in, keeping it to yourself for now, okay? Waiting for the right time is what that feels like. In your heart space, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Strength card in the reverse. Yeah, whatever this is that is coming to your awareness, I do feel like it affects you on an emotional level. I feel like um, there's somebody that you have a lot of emotion for, a lot of deep emotion for, and I feel like whatever it is that's coming to your awareness, and we will clarify that, guys, um, as we need to, but... I do feel like it hits you. It hits you right in the feels, okay? It hits you right in the heart space. Um, and it's like you... You wonder, um, you know, if you have the strength for it. You wonder how long you can keep it in for, okay? Because the strength card is a card of holding, like holding back, holding in. You know, she's literally pressing the lion's mouth shut, okay? Both in the reverse, it's like you're wondering, like, how long you can do this for? Like, how long, how long can I keep this up to where, you know, I don't let, I don't let on that I know or I don't let on, you know? You know, that kind of an energy. So I definitely feel like whatever is coming to your awareness, it's it's caused an emotional reaction from you. And it's difficult for you to pretend like you don't know. It's, it's difficult for you to keep that to yourself. We have, this straight, or we have the Temperance card in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not, you're not, uh, it's, it's almost like you feel that whatever this is, it, it's enough that you feel like it can't be fixed, okay? Or you're just not interested in fixing it. The Temperance card, you have it in the reverse. When it's in the upright, it can be a card of you know, um, transmuting energy. It's the alchemical process. So it, it, you can turn one thing to another. But in the reverse, it's like you feel like that's not happening. It's like we can't go back to a good place after this. We can't be okay after this. Um, you feel like this is something that can't be healed. I also feel like it's part of you losing your patience for it as well. Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Not wanting to invest any time, effort, and energy into this, feeling like you don't have that to do. Um, it could have something to do with resources as well. That could be so, like, if you guys live together, um, you know, you could be keeping your mouth shut for a while while you, like, save money so you can go off on your own or something like that here. Like, there could be something to do with money or resources that is um, a factor in this. Now, now obviously, that's not going to be for everybody, but the Queen of Pentacles sometimes can be a card of resources. And with it being in the reverse, um, you know, you could feel like you don't have enough yet. Or something of that nature. Just take it how it resonates. But I do feel like you're you're getting to the space. Like, okay, well, now that I know, I'm going to manifest something new for myself. I do feel like you are unhappy at this time because this is not what you wanted. But you're more, it's like, I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to be determined. 
Okay, I feel like you guys are trying to manifest something new for yourselves, or, or whether it's like manifest the, the funds, the money, the resources to get yourself out of this situation, or um, you know something like that. You're manifesting a new life for yourself, one that doesn't include this person. Now that you've seen, you've peeped this. Let's see, we got the justice in the reverse and the four swords in the reverse for your action. You are going to end up um, expressing to this person. That is what is going to happen. So you're keeping it to yourself for now, but you're not for long. You're going to be telling this person that you know about their injustice. You know what they did to you. They know you know the wrong that they've done. Okay, you know that whether they were dishonest, whatever it was, whatever this is. For you, um, it's a good general reading. It's going to be different for everyone. You're going to be letting on. That's, you're not going to keep that to yourself for long. Let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with. We're going to see what their energy is towards you. And then we will clarify where we need to. Okay? Show me the person that Capricorn is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Capricorn? What is their energy towards Capricorn, please? What is their energy towards Capricorn? So let's take a look at this. It does kind of feel to me, now this is not going to be for everybody, but for some of you guys, um, what you're finding out is about a third party situation. We're going to find out more as we clarify, and that is not going to be the case for everyone out there, but that is the case for some of you, okay? Um, and we're going to clarify and get more details about that. But in this person's hut space, they have the king of swords and the lovers in the reverse. So I do feel like they're acting very calculated. Um, especially when you confront them. They're going to be acting very calculated. They're going to be very detached. They could say some nasty things, so keep that in mind. They're going to try to flip this, okay? They're going to be... It's going to be an all-out thing, okay? Keep that in mind, okay? There's definitely a disconnect here, and they recognize it. Um, and they feel your decision, okay? So they're, they're definitely becoming a little bit calculated. They could be being cold. They could be being detached. They could be being nasty with their words. You know, that's an energy that's coming through. Um, they're clearly able to, it's not, I mean, they can't deny, even if they try, it's like on an internal, on their own mind. They, they can't deny that they're the reason why this happened, um, that they're, they caused this disconnect here. In the heart space, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups, they do have a lot of love for you. That's highlighted again here. They do want to get out of this energy with you. They're going to be making some big promises. That's why I'm getting the word calculated. Because they're going to be trying to come up with anything to fix this. Okay. Ace of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Ace of Swords. So they're going to be telling you, I've learned my lesson. I realize what I've lost now having major. They're going to be telling you about all these major realizations that they're, they're having. They're going to tell you what they see so clearly now that they're really ready to work on this with you. Um, you know, they want to get out of this energy with you. They want to move past this. They have so much love for you. I mean, they're going to be laying it on thick. It's going to be an outpouring. Okay. You can see everything pouring out of that cup there. Okay. Be cautious with that because it's calculated. In their heart space, they do. They, they, some of you guys could have a home together. You could have a family together. Some of you guys could be married to this person um, or you're just in that committed relationship. They're really seeing the value of it now. They're like, what did I do? You know, like, shit, what did I do? Like, they're really seeing that they're not just losing you. I mean, they're losing all of it, okay? Um, they have a lot of a, they have a lot of a love for you, but, and they are, they're, they're all of a sudden ready to change it, but it is very calculated. They're saying exactly what they need to say because they know what they're about to lose. But their true intentions, they have the six of the six of swords in the reverse and the page of cups. I'm getting a couple different messages from this. I do feel like this is them still wanting to express emotion to you, them not wanting to um, move on from this yet. Okay, I feel like so they're gonna be they're gonna be expressing a lot of emotion to you, like we just talked about. But for others of that of others too, this is a detour. This is where they took a detour to um, you know, go see what else was out there. Talk to other people. You know, especially if this was a third party. You know, that was there. And it's still showing up in their intentions. So I don't really see that even though they're saying this stuff and they're having all these realizations, it doesn't really look to me like too much is going to change. Um, their actions, six of wands in the reverse, three of cups. I'm 
trying to take your attention away from their third party situation, from their wrongdoing. I feel like some of them, they're also seeing if there was no third party, okay, if it was some other kind of, you know, um, betrayal, they're really seeing the action as six of wands, three of cups, that a reunion is not going to be successful, okay? It's not going to work. That's what they're starting to see because you've made up your mind. You're done, okay? So that as much as they're trying here, I don't think it's going to work. I want to clarify a few things, but it does look like a pretty clear reading to me. Tell me about this high priestess energy. What is it that has come into Capricorn's awareness? Tell me about this high priestess, please. Three of, three of cups and the four of swords. So, yeah, there's some stuff that they've been keeping from you. Um, for a lot of you guys, I definitely feel like it is a third party. Wow, even at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. There's definitely been some kind of betrayal here, and it's coming to your awareness, and you're done. You know, this is a very, um, I know this is really hard to hear, but you guys are finding out some some stuff this week, and it does kind of, or, yeah, it does kind of look like, yeah, this could play out for the rest of the the rest of the month as well. I have a kind of a feeling that some of you guys could be finding this stuff this week, but some of you guys may not say anything right this second. Um, but this is what I'm seeing for you guys. I'm going to be keeping you guys in my thoughts and in my prayers, but don't worry because you guys are going to be getting this off your chest and you guys are manifesting um, a way out of this. You guys are manifesting something new for yourselves. You're not going to let this hold you down, get you down, or keep you stuck, okay? So that is what I have for you. I'm very proud of you for that, by the way. Um, I'm going to be keeping you guys in my thoughts and in my prayers. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.